Hello friends, welcome back. And recently I posted a video choosing my top 20 Elton John tracks from the decade of the 2000s, drawing largely from these three studio albums that Elton made during that time. I asked for your comments. Some of you sent in your whole top 20s, some just a few favourite tracks. And I'm now going to go through your suggestions. Many thanks for all those comments. I had over 30 comments on that video. Now, what's interesting is that it has um, prompted a list of no fewer than 26 tracks that I haven't reviewed elsewhere. So these are B-sides, um, rare tracks from other sort of projects that Elton's been involved in. So I'm going to have to go through and review all of those new songs, and I will do that on a separate video or videos. But tonight I'm going to look at some of your ideas. Now, Dirk, who's one of my regular contributors, uh, is enthusing um, along with a lot of uh, subscribers about the musical Lee Stat, which Elton um, was involved in. This was kind of a vampire love story. Um, now, I chose one of the tracks right before my eyes from my top 20. Uh, and lots of you have also chosen tracks. This only seems to exist in a demo form. The tracks are available on YouTube, but lots of really impressive music from this. Um, and we would love to see a proper studio album of this. Uh, maybe it could be revived as a musical rework, whatever. Um, but we'd certainly like to see that. Uh, now, uh, Mario has written in with, um, again, a very inspired uh, selection, including some from El Dorado, some from Mona Lisa Smile. I'm not familiar with that. I need to look at that. Um, plus some duets, uh, which I haven't um, heard. For instance, we both say goodbye. A promo duet with Catherine Britt. I've got to look that one out. A duet with Anne Wilson uh, of another version of Where To Now, St. Peter. Um, and the one I want to talk about particularly is um, Elton's duet with Charles Aznavour, um, the song Ear and Core, which is uh, in English is Yesterday When I Was Young. I'm going to do a separate video on this. I'm a huge fan of Charles Aznavour, the late Charles Aznavour, a remarkable songwriter who was still touring in his 90s, um, wrote over a thousand songs. Um, that one is one of his most beautiful. And I love the duet um, he did with Alton. Again, as far as I know, it only exists on YouTube. I haven't seen that um, on um, a vinyl or CD unless you know different, of course. Now, Chad's commenting that I need to look at El Dorado, and I will do. I haven't got that. I'm going to get it. I don't know much about that um, film at all. Um, so I'm really open uh, to changing my top 20 when I've coped with all these extra projects. Um, so in Chad's um, uh, list of some interesting uh, tracks here, he's got All the Time Allowed as number one. That's a very popular one with fans, of course. Uh, this Train, American Triangle. He's got The Bridge in there, which was my number one. Uh, Tinderbox as well, which is a pretty good track. Original Sin. Um, yeah, that's a very popular one. Uh, and some others that are perhaps are less well known. Um, he's put in um, Mansfield, which is a lot of people uh, like that track, of course. Um, and um, uh, things like Freaks in Love, uh, which is not necessarily um, on a lot of people's lists. So thanks very much for that, Chad. Interesting message from Mark, um, who has listened to all of the least that tracks, although none made them to his list. Um, he's concerned really about the sort of the quality of the recordings, really, because they're only demo quality. But he does like Right Before My Eyes, which was my suggestion, and Make Me As You Are. So I've got to listen to that one as well. He says it's definitely a fun listen. Um, he's got Friends Never Say Goodbye at number one, Someday Out of the Blue and The Panic in Me. So we're drawing on a lot of these sort of musical sources uh, for a lot of these top 20s from the 2000s. Um, nice to see Across the River Thames getting in there. Um, again, that's a, a bonus track, isn't it? And um, one that I uh, particularly like. Um, and um, things like How's Tomorrow, that was an interesting one. That's another one which you know, perhaps I didn't um, rate particularly highly, but some people seem to like that one. Uh, I Want Love is getting a lot of support, uh, as is Original Sin. Um, so those are kind of popular ones that keep coming up in people's um, uh, people's top 20s. Um, push for a number one and two, he says this train uh, would definitely be there. Um, OK, um, now 007 has sent in their top 20 as well. Billy Elliot is featuring as well. The letter is popular. Of course, I put electricity uh, in my top 20. 
Uh, 007's got Original Sin as number one. That's a very popular choice as well. Um, and Birds. Now, Birds is a track that seems to be gaining popularity. Um, I read a review, somebody saying that um, that was kind of the turning point, that Elton was back on form with that track, Birds. Interesting one to listen to and what they do with his voice in that. Very closely might. Uh, I Want Love. Um, a, a Little Piece as well, which again is a bit of a rarity, that one. Interesting one to include. So some inspired um, choices here uh, in these charts you're sending in. Now, Beth has also sent in her top 20. This train is number one, Tinderbox um, from The Captain and the Kid, isn't it? Uh, that's another one that a lot of people like. A uh, bit of a discussion about what it actually means. Um, I, I sort of saw it to mean um, the relationship between Elton and Bernie. You know, maybe sometimes they kind of sparked off each other. Uh, sometimes they were further away from each other. But when they got together, exciting things happened. Exciting songs were written. Um, we've got American Triangle, one of those story songs in there. So Sad the Renegade, one of Elton's classiest B-sides in there as well. He's got a song, um, she's got a song called Br Dreamland in there um, with Bruce Hornsby. Don't know that one. That's on my list to look at. Um, another vote for the Catherine a Brit um, duet where we both say goodbye. Uh, Across the River Thames in there again. My Elusive Drug. Now that made my top 20 as well. Uh, and um, Grandma's Song. That's got to be from a musical, hasn't it? So I'm going to look at that one as well. And um, a song Alton did with the Killers, Joseph, Better You Than Me. So those have all got to be looked at uh, by me. Uh, now, Ken has also sent in a chart here. Um, and um, Original Sin again at number one, American Triangle at number two, This Train. So if we apportion votes across all um, the entries I've had here, we'd see some songs coming up all the time. Those three in particular, uh, The Ballad of the Boy in the Red Shoes, another fairly popular choice. It's getting dark in here. Um, and Electricity coming up uh, in Ken's uh, list as well. Tinderbox, again, that's another favourite. Uh, so many thanks for all your suggestions. I've made a note of all the songs that I haven't reviewed in my album collections. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through them one by one, give my views of them um, and uh, add them to my Elton John Rarities playlist. Now, I'll link that playlist below so you can listen to any of the songs that have been mentioned as well. Um, and in the next video, I'll go through probably the first half of those rarities add them to my spreadsheet and see if that top 20 is going to change in any way. I know already that the duet with Charles Aznavour, which I shouldn't have forgotten, that is definitely going into the top 20. So something's going to have to move down a little bit from there and um, maybe a few others as well. So keep the comments coming in. Um, Favourite tracks from the 2000s, anything obscure, and I particularly want to to hear about any um, projects, any sort of um, guesting that Elton's done on other artists' uh, records, or even things that he's written, but maybe he hasn't recorded himself, that could also get into the top 20. Let's try and get everything we can from this decade before we move on. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to. Don't forget, we're still standing.